air crews head to the Caribbean to deliver aid to the areas affected by Hurricane Maria. Service members from Travis Air Force Base are also helping earthquake victims in Mexico. Airmen have delivered thousands of pounds of cargo already, and there could be more on the way. CBS 13's Carlos Correa shows us the relief efforts underway in Mexico. Yeah, the 21st Airlift Squadron out of Travis Air Force Base was the first U.S. aircraft on the ground in Mexico, providing aid after a 7.1 earthquake caused death and destruction. Hours after a massive earthquake hit Mexico, members of the 21st Airlift Squadron at Travis Air Force Base were already preparing to deploy across the border. Readiness and preparation is what we do. Um, we, uh, our folks are trained to do um, a myriad different missions. On its initial mission to Mexico City, the crew helped deliver 75,000 pounds of equipment and 67 search and rescue members from Los Angeles. The LA team included several canines trained to sniff through all the rubble. And there were hundreds of some of the Mexican military there waiting to receive the aid that we have. Uh, that that was awesome. Over the last few weeks, airmen from Travis have worked long hours providing help to people along the Caribbean where food and water are now running low. Effects from Hurricane Maria. We uh, were definitely stretched thin on these uh, humanitarian aid missions. Um, definitely a lot of our squadron is uh, helping out. Travis is a very busy squadron uh, in general. We're, we're happy to help out. Pilots say it was difficult to see the destruction from the aircraft, but what they did see when they landed is the expression of need on the faces of many victims. Whether it was the, the Mexican military um, or the federal police, um, uh, they obviously were, they were, very, um, they were very touched by our presence. Um, and you can tell they're, you know, they're, they had a sense of urgency. Service members here at Travis Air Force Base continue to be on standby, prepared to provide even more help across the border in Mexico and also areas affected by Hurricane Irma and Maria. Carlos, thank you for that from Travis Air Force Base tonight.